Okay. There it is. <laughs> Finally, it's taken quite a long time. Many, many, many months to, uh, to take care of this. But here it is. The heads are back on. Uh, I need to get mufflers on these things um, on either side. You have a, that's where the mufflers are supposed to go, but they are still attached to the, the other um, part of the engine, uh, the old engine. I haven't been able to get them off yet because they're pretty rusted on. And uh, rather than go out and get new ones, Again, an another new part. I figured I'd just try to salvage the uh, the old ones from the other engine. Now I put new spark plugs in. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I used most of the old parts. Uh, this is the engine, and this is the transmission, and you can see where they join up. Uh, there are basically just four big bolts, two on either side, that uh, that hold it together, hold it the engine to the to the transmission. Now there are some gears that stick onto the sh end of the, the, there's a shaft that comes out of the engine and a bunch of gears on there that interlock or intermesh with the uh, the transmission. <clears throat> Excuse me, and when you put it in gear, that's basically what is driving everything. It's driving, you know, the uh, whether you have a mower attachment like I have on now or um, your snow blower or whatever, it runs everything. This little teeny 16 or 18 horsepower engine. Um, this is a clutch. There's actually one on either side, um, forward and reverse, and now I found that these things, these plates, are all oh, pretty worn. They're probably very, very old. I mean, I've had this thing for eight, roughly eight years. I've never touched them, so for eight years, at least eight years, and I know that they were not new when, uh, when I got the thing, so who knows how many years are on these plates. But the plates, these plates need to be changed out. Now, the place that I've been ordering these parts from is absolutely atrocious. Um, they, two orders and two wrong orders. Um, they gave me the wrong plates for, uh, for my tractor, and they gave me so many stupid parts that I didn't even order in the, the last order. They, they forgot to add parts. They added parts that I didn't even order. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But, Engine's all back together. The oil is in it. Um, everything has been checked. I've been actually the, now I'm having kind of a battery issue. Uh, the battery's been not charged, I guess now for a year or so. So it's um, it's kind of dead. And I've had it on the battery charger, but I have a feeling that this, the battery itself is not uh, not functional because probably because it's been dead for so long. Um, I might have to go out and get a new one. But right now I'm into this thing for at least 150 maybe $200, which again, lo looking at it, you'd go, no way, I can't believe you spent any money on this. But when you consider that the replacement value of this is in the thousands, um, yeah, you know, 10% uh, of, of the, uh, the cost of a new engine is not that bad. I still have a few other little things to change out. But... Um, it's been going, you know. I mean, it's been trying to uh, to go at least, which is uh, which is good. I enjoy that. So now, um, oh, so what I found is uh, I'm having. It's kind of, again, I'm guessing it's a carburetor issue. I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna try to. I don't know if I can hold the camera and turn the, you know, try to crank it at the same time. But um, I've gotten it to. It turns over, no problem. Here's the starter down here, and the starter uh, spins as it should. You know, it locks with the flywheel, spins the flywheel, and everything starts starts to uh, to try to fire. But it's um it's kind of a carburetor issue, um you know, like a fuel air mixture. And I don't think actually. Oh, uh, well, there we go. There's a cable that's already been disconnected. That's nice. Uh, so uh, that might be one issue. But um, yeah, I, I need to. You can see there's a little, this little tab came off. That tab goes to the throttle. It kind of controls, I guess, the throttle and the once again the fuel air mixture. But while there's gas trying to go in there, the you know there should be an equal amount of air going in as well. And I'm guessing that that's not happening here. Also, these cables, um, like I have a choke cable that isn't working. You know, like it doesn't work. I mean, it works this way, but it doesn't work on the um, on the console where the, the little choke button is. So I have to kind of adjust that 
myself back here. Um, let's see, okay, I'm gonna try to prop this up with something and see if I can't show you. At least it turns over, so up to this point, it's been kind of cool. You know, interesting learning experience. I'm gonna put the camera right there. Just, it's on a can right now, and I'm gonna turn it on and try to, uh, try to get it running for at least a second or two. There you go, that's what it does. <laughs> So again, it doesn't have any mufflers on it, so it's really loud. Um, but that's as far as I've been able to get it. It'll it'll try to start up, boom, 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 and it'll maybe make a few revolutions, and then it just dies, or it won't continue, uh, won't continue on. I just can't get the the fuel, the, like the firing right. Um, hopefully, I mean, this doesn't really have any like a timing belt or timing chain or anything like that. It's the, the shaft, uh, the main crankshaft had uh, a mark that I lined up with the, um, with the flywheel. Well, the flywheel only goes on one way. I mean, there, you have no option there. Um, but the, oh, the camshaft, the cam inside, which, which um, makes the valves and the fuel pump kind of sink. Um, that had a little a little dot, and I lined that up with the main uh, crankshaft. So those those things, you know, when one spins, they kind of spin um, together uh, in in synchronicity. Uh, I can't think of anything else. That's uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> I mean, I will I will eventually be able to figure this out um, and get it to run consistently. And with that, again, that, I'm sure a new battery is on the horizon, but. I don't think that's the completely the um, the issue that I'm I'm dealing with right now. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I've wasted far too much already with uh, with making these videos. Um, I got it from off apart, completely apart, back together, and uh, almost running, almost completely running. I mean, it runs. You know, it, as you saw, it'll uh, it'll make noise and and smoke. But uh, a few little things to tweak on this and. Um, I'm back in business, so thanks for watching, and if you have any uh, suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them.